Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. I believe this is now the fourth generation. It retails for $900, so $100 more than the 11 inch iPad Pro, which uh, also comes in 128 gigabytes as a base model, which is really great, um, really awesome that finally Apple is catching up with not cheaping us out on the storage. Hopefully that happens soon with the iPhones this coming year as well. But let's just go ahead and take a look at this. You can see that this is a very large tablet. It is a big one. We have here the space gray color, and this is what I got to be mine, hopefully. Um, I've never committed to a 12.9 inch model because I've never uh, decided to use it as my laptop replacement when I go places. But with mouse support now on the new um, iOS or iPad OS 13.4, that is definitely something that I would like to do. So this is a test to see, and I, it is definitely something I could do with the 11 inch model, but I definitely wanna test it out to see how it works out with this 12.9 inch model, which is very big. It is a behemoth. It's still very easy to hold. It doesn't weigh a lot. Like it does, you know, it has heft to it, but it doesn't weigh a ton where like you can't hold it with a one hand for a second and do a quick sketch or something. You definitely can't walk around and be holding it all the time and watching a movie or anything, but it is definitely doable and uh, you get this huge, beautiful display. This is kind of more looking forward to what we're gonna see with um, the new Magic Keyboard. I think the Magic Keyboard plus this larger size will be something that might be incredible. Um, hopefully we'll see, because then that's gonna make it a little bit easier to type with a larger keyboard, the larger trackpad. Uh, we'll see how that works out then. I still don't really know much about the Magic Keyboard, so we'll try that out in May. But I do want to really try this out and compare also the 11 to the 12.9 inch model a bit more because I haven't really done that in previous years very well. But here we're gonna go ahead and go through the setup process. We have Face ID, of course. So let's go ahead and set this up so you guys can see, just so you can see how long the setup process here is. And I'm just gonna kind of go through this, fly through this, do it however I can do it as quickly as possible. Let's see. There we go. Face ID scans complete and create a passcode. Of course, the best passcode to use is 000. I use that in my bank accounts and everything. And uh, whoops, I changed it. I don't know why I recommend to change that because it's a really good passcode. Because I mean, it's really the last thing people think. It's the most obvious thing, but clearly it's the last thing anyone would think. So don't transfer apps and data. Use a different ID. Nope, that's not where it is. Forgot my ID, set up later in settings. It's really hard to really skip this. They really don't want you to skip much of anything. And set up later, continue, share, continue, 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 continue. And there we go. All right, so this is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Strangely enough, it doesn't come with the wallpaper that it shows on the box for some reason. And the same thing happened with the uh, 11 inch. So let's go ahead and change that because that's not the wallpaper that's being advertised. What is wrong with Apple? So let's go ahead and click that, set both. And there we go. Now this is the new iPad. There we go. So 12.9 inch iPad, here we go. Let's compare it here to the 11 inch iPad real quick. All right, so they're taking a closer look. You can see both colors, both camera bumps, and let's go ahead and just, let's uh, let's try this here. Let's, let's do the, uh, old one as well. So let me know what you guys think there. What camera bump looks better, the new one or the old one? I particularly do like the new one. I think it matches more of the style of what the iPad design is than that little circle. That little circle just looks like it's borrowed from a smaller phone or something. It's just very small for the actual tablet. Let's go ahead and show you here the actual size of how much bigger the 12.9 inch is to the 11. So there it is cornered. That is how much more space you get with the uh, 12.9 inch model, which is a lot. Like when you look at it on paper and you go, oh, 11, and then the other one's almost 13. It doesn't sound like that much of a difference. Holding them and seeing them, it's a, it's a very big difference. Like this is tablet size, this is laptop size. So that is one of the reasons that I got this one. And it's to see if I can actually commit to using it like a laptop. And uh, if not, I'll just go back to just doing 11 inch and using it as a laptop like that, but I did want to test it out with the larger screen. But if something that you want to do is hold it in one hand, watch a movie in one hand, and you're going to be holding it a lot and often, 
it's definitely much easier and much better to go with the 11 inch model, especially if you do any Apple pencil work and you wanna also hold it and like annotate on the screen and write things and hold and you know, walk around like, like uh, you own a business or something then the 11 inch is a little bit easier for that. You can still do it with this one, but it's a little bit harder to kind of go about doing. But again, guys, that is the 12.9 inch iPad. And like always, I almost always forget to show you what else is in the box where we get the charging block, USB type C. And of course, in the stickers here, we have white stickers there from Apple, which are pretty large, just the exact same as what we get in the other 11 inch box. But uh, yes, that is the 12.9 inch iPad beautiful device, really excited for it. Again, not much of a difference between this year's and the 2018 iPad Pro in terms of, you know, performance or specs or anything. It's a little bit better and a much better camera, but that's where it ends. So you have the old one, don't feel the need to upgrade or anything. You'll still be able to buy the Magic Keyboard. You can still buy the new Smart Folio. You can buy all the things, you still get the mouse support and everything. But yeah, just so you don't feel like you need to upgrade or anything, there's just nothing major here. It's just basically an S model to an iPhone. Kind of that's how the, the case would be. So this would basically be an iPad Pro S instead of a new, really new iPad Pro. But yes, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And aside from that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.